Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central. I'm in the Pixtronics booth uh, at SID 2013. Uh, Pixtronics is actually a wholly owned subsidiary of, of Qualcomm. Uh, they were acquired, I don't, I don't know, maybe six, eight months ago, perhaps. Uh, and they're also developing a MEMS-based uh, display solution. Um, now, we've talked to, to Qualcomm about this and Pixtronics, and uh, Pixtronics and Qualcomm both have independent but cooperating uh, MEMS development uh, efforts. Uh, one of the um, advantages of, of having two teams do this is there's a lot of cooperation uh, at the engineering level uh, to, to develop the processes and the technology uh, with the potential, of course, for both of these displays to, to come to market and one may have advantages or, or uh, advantages for specific applications that the other uh, may not have. Uh, what, other, what also may be a very interesting uh, uh, reason for the, the cooperation is the ability to, to license the technology. Uh, Pixtronic's business model is to develop and license their, their technology uh, to manufacturers. Uh, Qualcomm, uh, of course, has very strong expertise in this area. Uh, so uh, clearly this could be some rationale. Uh, both the technical level as well as the business level for uh, for the cooperation. Now, what they're showing here at SID is, is a seven-inch uh, prototype. This is the first time uh, they've actually demonstrated and developed a prototype that's been manufactured on a commercial um, LCD fabric uh, fab line. Uh, in December of 2012, they announced a partnership uh, with Sharp, uh, and this particular model was developed with an IGZO backplane in cooperation with Sharp. Uh, and then has the, the MEMS layer uh, developed by Pixtronics put on, on top of that backplane. Uh, the way this, um, the, their MEMS layer works is think of it as kind of a flat uh, 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 pocket door. So you've got a, a basically a shutter that, that slides, a door that slides uh, open and shut across uh, an aperture uh, that's above uh, a backlight, an LCD, uh, an LCD type backlight. There's no LCD, of course. So in the backlight, you have uh, RGB uh, LEDs uh, filling the, the, the light guide with light. These fire time sequentially. So the red light comes on, the shutters open and close on, in a uh, time division multiplexing kind of format uh, to create grayscale. Uh, then the blue LED comes on, uh, different modulations put on the, on the shutters, et cetera. So this operates in a, in a time sequential manner uh, uh, with a field, a frame update of 60 uh, 60 frames per second. This demo is running video. Uh, it looks real clean. This actually has 135 percent of, of NTSC uh, color saturate, color gamut. Um, it's a seven-inch uh, prototype, 1280 by 800, 24-bit uh, color. Um, looks uh, looks real nice. They're showing a second demo next to it over here that's got some stills that that's also very good at demonstrating the uh, the wide color gamut of, of the display. Uh, so uh, they're, they're not talking very much about the relationship, uh, the manufacturing relationship between Pixtronics uh, and Sharp at this time, uh, nor uh, commercialization time frame, uh, but obviously that's, this is the goal is to bring this technology to market. Uh, so we wish them luck. Uh, looking good so far. Uh, Chris Chenock for Display Central.